We're here today at the headwaters of our own world-class trout fishery, Cumberland River here below the dam. A premier trout stream in anyone's language. And now we've made our river even better. A year ago, this scenic stream did not exist. A stream flowing about 18 million gallons of water a day. It's more than a mile long, and best of all, mimics a natural wild stream with high quality habitats. And that was a central goal, to create spawning habitat and encourage migration of trout from the river up the creek. And trout have already made their way up this creek. Certainly, anglers are excited about these new waters and the fishing opportunities they bring. All right, fishermen, cast your lines. There they go. Pull one of them trout out. Leave it set right. Oh, I'm going to get it a little further out there. Yeah, leave it set right there. Here you go, go fish. Oh. Oh, man. Sure did. I had a takedown right there. Now, trout are opportunistic feeders, so you'll find them basically facing upstream. They will put themselves in little sheltered areas, like behind that rock, mm -hmm. uh, and wait for the food to come to them. So it's like an ambush, essentially. Yeah, absolutely. So how many years have you been fly fishing? About four to six years. <laughs> About four to I, six I, years. Know, I, was, I, was, I was really born to it. This passion of yours has is, is led you into your second career. Absolutely. Right? I mean, now you uh, you advise people on how to get started at uh, Cabela's, right? I do, indeed. So yeah. that's, I'm in uh, a little store. Anybody wants to get started, give me a call, stop by and see me, say hello. You know, I'm blessed to be able to participate with my passion in what I do every day. You know, it's pretty awesome though that they said that they haven't stocked this. I mean, these fish actually just found the cold water and have made their way up from the Cumberland River into this stream, which is really, really pretty cool. Uh oh. Hey, there you go. Oh, man. Why'd you lose that fish? That was a good one, too. That was a nice one. Do that again. There's a lot of opportunities on the lake and there's some camping areas and things around here, but this is a, a new family activity that people can come in and get out and spend some time and experience Mother Nature. This is not a real big trout stream. It'd be really good for beginners. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be absolutely marvelous for trout aficionados like myself. Uh, but if you're just learning, this is a great place to come and learn. As you can see, you know, you're not making real long casts. Mm -hmm. It's not real technical fishing yet. There's plenty of nice fish in here. A lot of thought, a lot of science, and a lot, a lot went into the design of this stream. What would you tell a person to get started? It's an opportunity to fish for, for trout and uh, what hope turns out to be a world-class trout fishery. What would you tell them to, to go to purchase? I get a good starter rod and reel get some instruction on proper casting. A good fly casting stroke like a lot of, is like a good golf stroke in yeah. many ways. You, you, once you learn the timing of it uh, and the presentation, you'll do really well. It's, 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 it's easy to learn, difficult to master. I got you. You're throwing a little bit of different rig than what I've seen most people throwing. You're actually, you got a little weight on there. Well, I start with a larger fly, then I go, you don't have to do it this way, but I like to do it that way because of the way it drifts. Mm -hmm. And I go small, large, medium, and then a small little copper john on the end. Mm -hmm. All of these I made myself. Uh, and then I, obviously I put split shots. And then you do have a strike indicator, but that... Uh... Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't fish without it. If you want to catch more fish, you know, it may not look like a trout fishing movie or something, but if you want to catch fish, use an indicator. Because mm -hmm. when you see that indicator stop, it's either one or two things, you got a fish or you're hung up. 
You want to walk on down some more, or what do you think? This is all good all the way to the <laughs> river. Once this is discovered, you know, y'all better build some more campsites. You know, <laughs> I can say, you know, I pulled my camper down here, and, and uh, I'm going to plan on staying here all weekend, rain or, rain or not. Okay. If it starts to storm or rain a little bit, this place will turn on like magic. You'll be surprised how many fish will get caught. That's my first big one out here. I got to give him a kiss. This stream has uh, been open for a couple hours now. Yes. How cool is it to have a... Oh, man, this is, this is a miracle. <laughs>